hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create our own custom object detection model with the help of yolo v10 and then we are going to detect a vehicle number plate and then we are going to save a detected number plate text inside excel sheet so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we are going to create our own custom object detection model with the help of yolo v10 and then we are going to detect a vehicle number plate and detected number plate text we are going to save inside excel sheet done so now for that i have create here a new repository yolo v10 custom object detection i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside the web browser then go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository we have done so minimize the browser open file manager go to the downloads this is what our repository right click winrar extract as a folder name it will extract our folder so this is what our folder again we have same folder and first we are going to download our label images and then we need our video file so here i have already label images with the help of label img software so data.txt and the first link copy the first link open web browser new tab and press ctrl plus v hit enter it will open our link uh, number plate dot zip click on download it will download our zip format labels images so friends we have download our label images now just close the link and then we are going to open our next link which is our video file link copy open it new tab press ctrl plus v hit enter so this is what our video file click on download it will download our video file so friends we successfully download our video file also close the mega cloud link and then minimize all the files and go to the downloads where we have our downloaded files so np.np4 and our number plate.zip just cut and move inside our repository let's just open our video file np.mp4 this is what our video file as you can see there is a number plate which we are going to detect with the help of yolo v10 custom object detection model and then with the help of pedal ocr we are going to detect a text from number plate and then we are going to save detected text inside excel workbook or we can say worksheet simple close the video file now uh, number plate dot zip uh, we are going to simply change the name so number plate dot zip right click rename and mention freedom take dot zip freedom take dot zip simple now we want to move this freedom take dot zip which is our label images on our google drive so let me open my google drive so friends as you can see i have opened my google drive you need to simply open your google drive click on new file upload downloads repository again same folder and here freedom tech dot zip just click on open it will upload our freedom tech dot zip on our google drive so meanwhile we are going to open our google collab so friends i have opened google collab click on upload click on browse and then this is what our repository inside that i have mentioned google collab training file just upload it done we have successfully opened our collab file go to the runtime change runtime type python 3 selective 4 gpu click on save and then click on connect so friends we successfully connected now let's just run our cell one by one so first cell click on it done now we are going to install ultralytics package so run the second cell done now go for next cell from ultralytics import yellow from ipython.display import display and image and then here we are going to simply uh, cross check if ultralytics is perfectly installed or not so here i will use a nano model so yolo v10 and change s with n yolo v10 n.pt and just click on the cell it will download yolo v10 n.pt model and it will cross check the model with uh, the image doc.jpeg from roboflow 
then and we have detection here as you can see from this image we have person dog it means we successfully installed Ultralytics. Now let's just mount our Google Drive. So let's just first watch our uploading is completed. As you can see, one upload completed. Now we are ready and we are going to simply mount our Google Drive. So click on the next cell. Here click on connect to Google Drive. Select the Gmail ID where you save your uh, freedomtech.zip file. Click on continue. Click on continue. Done. Now it will mount our Google Drive. Then friends, now let's just create a data set folder and inside that we are going to unzip our freedomtech.zip. So just click on the next cell. So friends, we successfully unzip our freedomtech.zip inside data set folder. So click on here and then friends here it is as you can see we have data sets folder. And inside that we have our freedomtech.zip freedomtech folder which we unzip freedomtech folder and inside that we have our all the images and labels which we train with the help of label img software so here freedom check just click on this three dot click on new file and we are going to create data.yaml file data.yaml 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 and then hit enter it will create a data.yaml as an empty file so double click on the file it will open the file over here as you can see it's empty now open our repository and inside that I have mentioned data1.txt file data1.txt just click on it and it will open the file like this way so copy the code as it is from data1.txt copy the code copy as it is and open our google collab and just paste code inside data.yaml inside data.yaml copy the code from data1.txt file here like this way and paste it and here we are going to simply change our class name which is number plate number plate then and then press ctrl plus s and then just save it the file now scroll down and here we are going to as i mentioned we are going to use here a nano model so yellow v10 and dot pt and the image size we are going to select 240 so yellow v10 and dot pt and epox 100 image size 240 done and now let's just run our cell So friends as you can see our training is started it will take some time meanwhile I will pause the video. So friends we completed our training process and our model is saved inside runs detect and train folder. So go to the runs detect train weights and there is our base.pt model just click on this three dot and it will download our model. So friends, we successfully download our model, minimize all these things and then open file manager, downloads, this is what our model, right click, right click to the model, cut and open the folder and paste the model inside our repository. So now we are going to, first let's just create our uh, custom label.txt file, so coco1.txt. So right click new and then text document and coco1.txt open the file as a text editor and then mention our class name which is number plate number plate done file save it close all these things and now let's just open our test2.py code which is our main code and first we are going to install our packages so go to the tools manage packages open cv hyphen python hit enter first package click on install button it will install open cv hyphen python then we need ultralytics 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 click on search on pypy first package ultralytics click on install done it will install ultralytics package then we need cv zone package cv zone hit enter then first package CVZone, click on install button, done, it will install CVZone. So for today's project, we need more packages. So 
inside our repository as i mentioned i have already mentioned the data.txt file and inside that i have mentioned the packages which we need for this project so first package is as you can see paddle paddle so just search for paddle 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 or let's just copy as it is uh, copy as it is copy it and here just paste control plus v and search on pypy paddle paddle first package and then click on install button it will install paddle paddle as you can see i have already installed then the next package which is paddle ocr paddle ocr copy here just press control plus v search on pypy paddle ocr then click on install button done it will install paddle ocr so we install paddle paddle and then paddle ocr then uh, for excel we need excel wings package so copy the package name excel wings copy it and paste it here control plus v search on pypy first package click on install button done it will install excel wings also so this is how you need to install all the packages done so we have done with package installation so this is what our code import cv2 ultralytics import yolo pedal ocr import pedal ocr numpy as np then import os then import excel wings as xw from date time import date time so in last session i have already shared with you how we can use yolo v10 with most easy way so watch the video then you will get the idea how to detect object how to track the object also how to create a counter with the help of yellow v10 most easy way so same method i have used here same method i have used here for object detection purpose uh, let me show you here here it is as you can see we are calling our frame and then we have detection this is what our detection code from last session simple that's it so this is what our detection code and then of course we have condition when we uh, detect our number plate in particular area where we uh, clearly uh, see the text is readable so then we are going to draw a polyline and then we can say if the detected number plate area if it is inside our polyline then only we are going to uh, send our detected text as a crop format and we are going to send the crop image inside our pedal OCR and then pedal OCR will basically read the uh, text read the text simple so this is basically the code here it is as you can see this is what our perform OCR function which uh, need image which is the crop image and then with the help of pedal OCR we are going to read the text from the image so detected text and here we are going to return join detected text simple so when we are detecting a number plate we have x1 y1 x2 and y2 which is the rectangle and then we are going to crop our rectangle size image means here we have our number plate so we are going to crop the number plate and then we are going to send the number plate inside text perform ocr function which is our pedal ocr function perform ocr done and then we have here save to excel function save to excel function this one where we are going to create the file uh, excel file with current date and then uh, we are going to create a sheet with current date and inside that we are going to save our data so this is what our basic code simple so now let me first mention here a zero then you will get the idea okay and then let me check here a video file name and all other things so vid.mp4 is our video file and i have mentioned here our model also best.pt so let's just start our code so friends as you can see the code is not started because the video file name is not vid.mp4 video file name is basically np.mp4 simple my mistake so i, have, I will mention the video file name np.mp4 and save the code run the code so now friends as you can see our code is started this is what our video and as i mentioned i have created here a polyline area this is what my region of interest area and when this truck is basically in this region of interest area and then we have our 
number plate which we are cropping we are detecting our number plate with the help of our custom object detection model and then we are going to crop the image and then we are going to send that image inside our pedal OCR function and then we are going to detect the number plate means the text and we are going to save the detected number plate text inside our excel sheet done so I will uh, just skip here frame one by one then you will get the idea so as you can see now truck is coming forward and when the number plate if it is inside our area it's now inside area and as you can see basically uh, here it is as you can see the actual sheet is open and this is what the number plate as you can see the a is basically the number plate then we have current date and then current time current time is basically 1510 so g and p and 2138 is basically the number plate which we are saving and the, then we have our uh, current date and then current time so this is how the code will work now let me start a while loop then we are going to save all the file while loop in while loop basically so if i start the code so we have already saved one number plate at 1510 this is the time and this is the date and this is the text so same text but the time is now changed 1511 now we have another truck So friends as you can see truck is moving when is inside our area it's detected and there is a number plate number plate current date and current time so we have now car it will detect our number plate and then here as you can see the number current date and current time so this is how friends we are going to save all the data inside our excel sheet so as i mentioned it will create a new date uh, data sheet so now what we are going to do we are going to forcefully change the data oh sorry not data we are going to forcefully change the date and then we are going to cross check our code if it is work or not so here uh, this is what our excel sheet and here what i will do uh, i will go here in setting and let me go here in time and date time and then i will off the set automatically function and i will go here change and i will uh, mention the date yesterday date so 23 change close and now i will again start code and now it will create excel sheet as yesterday date and it will save the data inside a sheet simple excel workbook or we can say excel sheet detecting number and it's created as you can see 23.92024 it's creating excel sheet at previous date because we say we set the computer timing for yesterday date as i mentioned it will create each date new excel sheet simple and then we have next truck and then we have data as you can see so it means our code is perfectly working new date new excel workbook so if i close all these things and if i open our repository and inside that as you can see we have 23.92024 excel sheet and we have 24 which is the current date 24.92024 excel sheet so this is how friends you can create your own custom object detection model and you can save your data inside excel sheet at a real time so we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye